meetings uh, to you all. I just want to show you how we can now create our courses using Canvas and structure and elements. So let us call this a sentence uh, LMS or academic management system. First thing is, first step, you go to any browser and type in structure.com. Okay. And so that was. Once you do this, it will ask you to log in. To log in with your Gmail, if you have already created your terms. Otherwise, you are expected to, it is free, you are expected to log in through your Gmail. And since I've already logged in, this is how my course is. I've created a course like this. So you have here announcements, and you click on announcements. You then give your announcements. Some announcements are already given. If you want to this. Plus, wherever plus is there, it is an announcement. The announcement can be typed here. You can give a link to the external source. You can create an image. Also, you can create you know, an equation, whatever you want, if it's on this. So this is your course. And uh, next, assignments. You can give assignments. Again, it may be loaded. You can have discussions. And every time you make any changes, you have to go down and save. Then only talk about discussions. So before you talk about discussions, what is needed is you have to create a group of students, divide them into different uh, light group, average group, average group, or whichever way you want, and then initiate discussions that you can do. And Always, it is better to keep all your documents, whatever you want to share in the Google Drive and give a link to the Google Drive. Thereby, you are you know, saving on the stories for space. Similarly, if you want to create a link of your videos, your own YouTube channel or external video e-resources, e which are free, they're called open education resources, uh, that also can be linked here by providing the link. As far as possible, better to provide links so that it can be opening in their browser window, thereby this disk space can be saved. So this is how you can do. Now, uh, how do you add a class group here? So first add people. So since I've already added some names are all seen here. Otherwise say people. You can add by using your email address, their login ID. Uh, SSID. So for the present, let's say email ID. You can collect uh, all their email IDs by means of creating a Google form. And that will be saved as Excel sheet. From Excel sheet, you can save it as a CSV file. This is a comma separated file. Why am I saying this is because you have to enter these email addresses with a comma separation. And you can choose as a participant, as a teacher, you yourself can be a teacher as well as a participant, a teaching assistant. Some students can be used as a teaching assistant. You can design a course with all the creative talents. Uh, maybe you can make use of one of the good and bright students for that. And they also can be used as well. You can give different roles to them and section, whatever you want. I've just given uh, physical sciences, science, sentence, academic management systems, whatever you want to give, you can give your class code and say, press next, people will be added. Since I've not added, uh, you know, like suppose I give, this is my mail ID, I can give a name to it. So this is what name Excel sheet. This actually doesn't make any sense. So like this, you can give, you can give a hall ticket number here followed by roll number. So this is how you will be doing this. It cannot be created, so you can just say it's cancelled. You can create, as I told you, different group of uh, students here. They will be coming, and then uh, you can create a group and initiate discussions. And then syllabus. First thing is syllabus. So jump to edit or jump to today, and then say edit. Either you can uh, you can say your course is starting from today and you are uploading. So then you say jump to today. Or any at later date also you can say, so suppose I'm starting my course from 
1st of December. I will choose 1st of December. And you can say I've already added here. You can add a file, syllabus file. Okay. This is documents, upload. Okay. Or, as I told you, keep everything in your uh, uh, Google Drive and create a link here. So, I've already created a link here. So, this is a link. You can also give a link to the external uh, Google, Google uh, Drive or Google search engine. This is how you do and update. This is what you must do. Otherwise, it won't be saved. If you have a lecture schedule already created, like your DHE plans, each class, what you want to talk, what you want to deliver can be integrated into this Google Calendar. So suppose first, what do you want to teach? And second, what do you want to teach? Whatever you want to teach, you can uh, go there and enter the content. And the students will know what is going to be taught on that day. You can create a quiz. I'll show you how to create a quiz. Attach it to that so that on that day, after you finish your lecture or whatever be the time, you can create a quiz to test their comprehension and they can be graded rubrics or marks. And these will be displayed in your drive account. So these are the things, files. Files means you can add some notes for you. Some notes are given, so you can add it, you can upload, you can upload a folder from the drive. These are all usual things what you're doing using Google. So you must be thinking what, why we are doing this, why is it different and how is it different from the Google Classrooms uh, for which you are all been, you've been using it and you're all thorough with it. They're both like, only thing is here, this is dynamic, more features are available here. And uh, you can have a random generation of the quiz questions. You can allot different set of uh, patterns to the different students. You can assign different roles. And then, uh, then, then this is also cloud-based. You can keep changing. This is a dynamically changing. You need not keep the same old stereotyped ones. And for every course, what else is important here is there is a, a this is something which is additional uh, feature of this because we are all now into creation of POs, PSOs, COs, and so on, and following Bloom's taxonomy. So you can uh, create for a group, create one group, and you divide them in such a way that they are at the advanced level. So give them quiz questions, or as a type questions, or uh, fill in the blanks. At a higher level of uh, higher order uh, thinking skills, create another group for lower order. And you can also create students in different rooms, as I already told you so that they will be able to do the peer interaction, put them all on the same track, so that um, at the end of the semester or at the end of the course, all students will be reaching a comparable level of a required and satisfactory level of outcomes. So this is an advantage. Let me go back and show you quiz. Where is this quiz? I already have created a quiz. This is how the quiz is created. You can preview. There are innumerable options that are available in the quiz. So, quiz. This is already done. You can even upload. Let me show you what is there already. Then you will show you how to upload. So, you have to log in and then do it. Else, let me show you. Okay, you can edit this quiz also at any time. See, another important feature is you can have a student's view as well here. This is how the students will see it. Okay, In the classroom, you have to go to another mail and see it. Here, you can directly within the same, this is known as Google integration, you will be able to see how students view your course. So that is one advantage. Let me go to quiz. Um, this. So now you can add. If I show you how to add that, I think will be better. So you can give a name for it. Questions. 
earlier I told you what is already uploaded this. You can upload different number of questions. R. No question. This is how you create an online quiz. The options here are true or false, multiple choice, fill in the blanks, fill in multiple blanks, multiple answers, multiple drop downs, matching, numerical answer, formula question, essay question, uh, file upload question. You can give a set of problems, ask them to work out and give it. So this is how you will be doing it. And you can ask different, you can type your question here and all the answers here. And at the end of it, you can save. Okay. Save. So if you don't, since I've not typed anything, it doesn't relate. So you have to publish this quiz by writing a few things. If you don't publish, the students will not be able to save. So right now, let us only do the syllabus updation. That is posting the syllabus. A few files for your notes, PDFs. Uh, PowerPoints also, it's better to convert it into PDF and then do it. Create different pages. Invite people and conduct a quiz. Great. These are the things let us do. Maybe you can give a few assignments as well. These things we will do. And, and once you are comfortable, we will explore all the other things. Okay. So now let me go to account. Now, how do you invite people? I've already shown you how to invite uh, the people or students using your email IDs. I told you, you prepare a comma separated file and then add that file here. That means each email ID has to be entered with the comma separated. So that is one way. Now the QR code is latest. Everything is the QR code. So you can invite the students also using your QR code. So you can generate a QR code here. Say, this is how it comes and it expires in 10 minutes. So you can give this in your students. They will scan this in their mobile. First time, it will ask you to scan it and keep it. Uh, before that, prior to that, they should uh, load this from the Google Play or App Stores, the app of Canvas Instructure, it is available. So let them do this. Once they do it, scanning only one time, they have to do this, then it will be stored. So this is how they will be. This is a, a instructure. Uh, this is an LMS that we are doing. So it is in many ways similar to it. So we are just adding a new feature. So hope you will all be able to do it. You can just contact me whenever you have any issue. Okay. Thank you. If you have any doubts, you are most welcome. One second.